What comes to mind when you think of Brazil? Many of us conjure up images of exotic creatures roaming the world's largest rainforest, or of giant waterfalls feeding into the Amazon River. Perhaps you envision 21st century Pele's with precision passes, or the legendary Carnival street celebrations. or a simple yet profound symbol that offers protection to Rio de Janeiro. As far away as these images seem, Brazil and Nebraska are closer than you think. Through Partners of the Americas, a nonprofit dedicated to improving the lives of people in the Americas, you can bring these images to life, while exchanging your culture with Brazilians from all walks of life. Here's the story, as told by the people who have made it happen. In 1974, uh, there was a lot of interest in world organizations about drought and arid areas. And in order to improve production, they were looking at ways to give better technology application. And Nebraska Partners was, uh, was formed because a Peace Corps worker had worked in POE and thought Nebraska with its aquifer would be a good uh, state to work with POE, and it was formed that way. Through Partners of the Americas, University of Nebraska professor Bob Kuselka brought his expertise on environmental yeah, issues to Brazil. To go to Teresina and Piauí to talk to them about how we manage water in, the United, in Nebraska and the United States uh, because of their interest in improving groundwater and using groundwater there. So I was set over on a grant to spend 10 days and talk to him about that. That was my first involvement well, I ever. I first got partners. involved in the partners in the late 90s and that was due to research we began in POE in, in uh, northeastern Brazil, uh, especially at the, in the Parque Nacional de Serra de Capivara. And there we were analyzing um, the environment and ecology of ancient people in Brazil. Nancy Haberstitch a registered nurse, has fused her extensive knowledge of disease prevention with a passion for international exchange. Actually, partners um, sort of found me rather than uh, me finding them. Uh, back in 1994, I think, um, I was uh, the infection control nurse at Lincoln General Hospital and there was a project that Partners was uh, pursuing uh, related to infection control. And so um, the request came for, would you be interested in making a contribution in that way? And so I joined Partners and I did uh, that uh, trip and contributed to a conference, infection control con conference in Teresina. And so it was, it was really a great experience. Of course, I met great friends. Was, um, in the mid-80s, I'm not sure the exact year, but um, I, my professor at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln uh, was Mike Strickland, and uh, he and his wife had invited me to uh, Sete de Septembro, uh, the Ind Independence Day picnic, and also to Carnival, and I had been kind of attending that with them. And so I um, started um, my partner's experience by coming to parties, and I really enjoyed meeting the people. I was recruited by president, a board member at the time, and uh, who happened to know about my interest in Brazil from past experiences in Brazil. And I should learn about partners and maybe think about joining the board. And I said, well, I'd actually heard of Partners of the Americas, but I had no idea that there was a chapter in Lincoln. So I was interested and waited to hear more, attended a board meeting, and liked what I saw. I think I would have liked University of Nebraska scientist and researcher Don Bierman learned of the Partners through a friend. I uh, first was made aware of uh, Nebraska Partners of the Americas about three and a half years ago. A couple of colleagues here on campus, uh, Gary Heisel, who was at that time uh, president-elect and another board member, uh, had told me about it and invited me to attend. 
I uh, set in on the first couple of meetings and decided uh, there were some opportunities there I wanted to pursue. The Nebraska chapter of the Partners of the Americas and the Brazilian state of Piauí, pictured here, have shared numerous projects and exchanged hundreds of travelers during its 35-year history. More recently, in 2008, the Nebraska chapter established a new relationship with Mato Grosso do Sul in southwestern Brazil. Both states have rich yet unique cultures and traditions. This allows the Nebraska chapter a broader range of exchanges and activities to partake in. However, no matter what your end destination, joining the partners brings benefits to the world around you. But really, to it's the friendships that it's all about. And I found that with partners. I've uh, not only worked with people in, in uh, Brazil, and, but I've also made friends. And you, you can't well, replace that. A couple things. One, if you have an interest in South America and Brazil, this is one way to network with lots of people. Uh, secondly, if you're interested in perhaps going to Brazil or South America, uh, this is a you know a possible way of getting a sponsored trip to go yes. down there. Uh, for many people, uh, a little bit of international experience is really a very helpful thing to put on, say, your resume, even if it's only a short time. It's a great way to. Um, stay in touch with the Brazilian community here in Lincoln, Nebraska, so that when I've had Brazilians here, uh, we've gone to partners' functions. And, well, uh, I think uh, they would really benefit from learning about the opportunities that are centered around volunteerism. Uh, and it's something that I would encourage students to pursue as part of their uh, maturation uh, experience broadening uh, opportunities. I think anybody who has any interest in international affairs um, should understand that Brazil really is a major player in the international scene. And a chance to get involved in, a, in an organization like Partners gets beyond the superficial news that you see in the newspaper about what's happening in a particular country. At both the picnic and the um, uh, uh, carnival, we you get a taste of Brazilian culture and Brazilian food. I mean, it's it's just kind of an amazing experience at the picnic. It's a, of course, it's a potluck, but there are so many little different Brazilian um, side dishes we get to taste. So no matter what your appetite, Partners offers fields of opportunities, from international travel to cultural exchange and new development frontiers. To learn more about becoming a member visit www.nebrpartners.com or contact a board member. Até mais!